Um, more recently than not, we have clearly seen that celiac is a multi-system autoimmune disorder, not just affecting the gastrointestinal tract, um, but the second most common, commonly affected tract would be, or system, would be the nervous system. Um, and it's thought that depression can be caused by gluten um, in one of two ways. And I'm just going to read you some studies here. In a study examining blood flow to the brain, 15 patients with untreated celiac disease were compared to 15 patients treated with a gluten-free diet for a year. The findings were amazing. In the untreated group, 73% had abnormalities in brain circulation by testing, while only 7% of the treated group um, showed any abnormalities at all. The patient with, brain, with the brain circulation problems were frequently suffering from anxiety and depression as well. In addition to circulation problems, um, the other research looks at the association between gluten sensitivity and its interference with protein absorption, specifically the amino acid tryptophan can be deficient. Tryptophan is a protein um, in the brain responsible for the feeling of well-being and relaxation, and a deficiency can be highly correlated, has been highly correlated with depression and anxiety. Um, our society, I think, kind of from what I read, is, is very willing to take a pill to alleviate these symptoms, and not many doctors um, are really willing to look at the actual root of all areas of where the problem could be stemming from and clearly in many many ways depression can be associated with food intolerance which is kind of shocking and I don't think I mean I certainly wouldn't think that I don't think a lot of doctors are trained to think that so hopefully in the coming you know months and years things will change and we'll know more doctors will know more to test for food allergies when their patients come in presenting with anxiety and depression um, and some surprising quotes from medical journals uh, regarding celiac and depression, I found were um, from the Ailment Pharmacology and Therapeutics Journal. This one is Depression is reported to be a feature of celiac disease and is ranked as the most common neuropsychiatric disturbance. From the Journal of Di Digestive Disorders, depressive symptoms can be considered a common feature of celiac disease. From the Scandinavian Journal of Gastroenterology, chronic depression is often a consequence of social phobia, and many patients with social phobia initially may present to physicians with depressive symptoms. The percentage of subjects with social phobia was significantly higher in celiac patients than in healthy controls, respectively 70% versus 16%. Um, and finally, from the BMC Psychiatry Journal, um, serot serotonin or serotonergetic sorry about that, dysfunction due to impaired availability of tryptophan may play a role in vulnerability to depressive disorders among adolescents with untreated um, celiac disease. So um, I thought those were all really, really interesting and kind of red flags that are kind of right in, these, right in the face of these doctors. And I mean, these are all quotes from medical journals, so I found that very interesting. Um, I'll leave with a quote from Dr. Vicki Peterson from the spring 2009 edition of the Journal of Gluten Sensitivity. It says, the frequency with which we are able to successfully taper patients off their antidepressants is considered unbelievable to many mainstream doctors, yet we do it very regularly. How is this possible? We actually diagnose the root cause of depression. Frequently, the culprit is gluten, and in such cases, a gluten-free diet is the main and only path to recovery. So I found that shocking. So if you, again, know someone who has you know depression, if you struggle with depression yourself, um, it could very much be part of your diet. So I would definitely look into that, talk to your doctor about that. Um, as always, it's from Have Not to Have and Gluten-Free Dining. Thank you so much for watching.